Okay. Have we hit record? So, welcome everybody to tonight's team call, 90 Day Game Plan. Tonight's call is all about duplication. And this has to be one of the most important things in our business. If you can't duplicate, you can't build a team. So, uh, I am thrilled to have Ange on tonight. She has got so many nuggets for us, cannot wait to hear them. But before I throw it over to Ange, I just wanted to um, just shout out to a few people. Um, one person in particular, Karina Blackman, she got the five cycle bonus this week or last week that just went, so well done to her. Yay! And uh, enjoy your bonus. And Annabelle Lott, she went one star. So proud of her. So, so proud. So well done, Annabelle. Woo -woo. And um, also we just wanted to give a little shout out and, um, you know, get behind Adam Grimley because he's on four cycles right now and he's about to hit his five. So we're, we're giving you a big swoosh of love and go get it, Adam. It's awesome. And I also just wanted to say as well, on Tuesday, if you guys aren't aware, we're having a sports, isogenic sports seminar. Um, and it's going to be amazing. It's at seven o'clock uh, on the 14th of June down at DY RSL. Uh, we've got Dirk Venter. He's a power lifter. We've got our own Kerry Pothast and Shelly Gorman, two Olympians. Amazing. And Lockie Horner, who I've used his training plans before. He's amazing. Great speaker as well. Uh, and Matt Dunning. So Matt Dunning's lost over 45 kilos using this system. He's a footballer. So if you've got any people that, you know, that are athletes or that are footballers that are interested in that side of things of isogenics, it's a perfect opportunity to get all your people there and let them, the experts, tell, tell them all about the product. So, you know, grab your tickets. Um, the link is in Team Elevate. So just go and grab your ticket. And try and be, bring as many people as you can. This is going to be a really amazing, amazing event. And if you miss it, you're going to be kicking yourself. So just wanted to, to let you all know about that. It's Tuesday night. Um, and now we're going to go over to Ange, our beautiful one-star executive, who, you know, graciously put a hand up for tonight's call. We really appreciate you being, you know, being here with us to share your nuggets. Oh, I did forget one thing. Sorry. Sorry. I uh, just wanted to shout out to Kerry. Kerry Parthouse, our beautiful Kerry, who's been holding the fort and doing such an amazing job with these calls, especially while I've been away. So I really appreciate it with all of my heart, Kerry, and all of us do, all the effort that you've gone to to put all these calls on whilst we're all away. So, or whilst I'm away. So anyway, let's hand it back to Ange. Thank you so much. Um, take it away. Great. Thanks, Lauren. Um, Welcome everyone. I know that, uh, you know, where it's a Sunday night of a long weekend. So certainly expect that uh, people are away and, and that sort of thing. So certainly keep tonight to, um, you know, it's pretty short and sharp. And I, I really, I put my hand up to talk about duplication for um, a really good reason is that I never did it. When I first started with Isogenics, um, if I can just kind of share my story, I started as a product user. I had no intention of ever sharing the product uh, as much as I, uh, you know, I think back to the conversation where Claire, Claire Jennings, who was my sponsor, who enrolled me, I remember how she came over to my house, we did the open the box, she started to talk to me about, you know, referral, U plus two, I was like, no, thank you, it's not me, I'm not into that pyramid stuff, Claire, and if, anyway, let me just, you know, see how the product goes and see the results, and I think, again, this story resonates with many because it's the same story as a lot of people certainly do have. Um, and it wasn't until, uh, you know, I'd seen some results that I decided that I wanted to get going, um, you know, and, and would start to kind of share, share it because people were asking me what I'd done because I had, um, you know, my story is that I had lost 15 kilos in 90 days. Uh, so I look quite different. I was a different person, uh, you know, certainly uh, emotionally, uh, mentally. My focus was different. I was happy. We know all that. We know all that stuff that isogenics does to us anyway. And uh, you know, so I wanted to. So where I was at was my story is I had actually finished. Um, I'd come out of corporate. I was in a space where I was unsure what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. And then isogenics became something that I thought you know could definitely fill that void. 
The roles I, I, I had previously, um, I was general manager for a brand. Uh, I'd led big teams of people. And so from my perspective, I was used to having the answers for everything. I knew everything about the businesses that I'd run and that was just me. I, I had this ego around having to do it my way and having to, so if I think back at, um, and I still have all the spreadsheets, so I created a spreadsheet for everything. I had a new spreadsheet for everything. I had, um, you know, a welcome email. I had, um, you know, all these templates and, um, I was wondering why, like, why do people not want to do it with me? Like, I, you know, and I, I also, one of the big things for me was I, this whole U plus two, I could never talk to anybody about that. I'd come out of corporate. I wasn't going to then start to share this isogenics with people, but I wanted everyone to do it. So I didn't know how to actually share it. Uh, without coming across as being salesy and so very, you know, very conscious about the way I was actually delivering it. And then I started to uh, go along to um, events and actually see some things. So what I wanted to do tonight is to actually just start with um, a, a, an ask, um, was if she'll pop on just a video, just to get our heads around uh, some duplication. And really, um, I think the epitome of, um, you know, network marketing and duplication. So here we go. Uh, I just want to unmute myself, sorry, before I did that, because I'm not sure that you would hear it if I hadn't have done that. So here we go. I'm going to share the screen now, and we're just going to show you a quick video. Here we go. And let me know if you can hear this. Can you hear it, Ange? Hey, everybody. This is Eric Morgan. Okay. Welcome to NetworkMarketingPro.com. I have an old network marketing adage for you today write this down make sure that you build your network marketing career activities around this concept it doesn't matter what works it only matters what duplicates it doesn't matter what works it only matters what duplicates what do i mean by that there's a few of you out there that are so skilled so talented that you can make fancy things work. You can go talk to the heads of government and you have contacts inside huge corporations and you have all of these networking abilities and, it, and you can sometimes get trapped by that skill because you go do it, you, it might work for you, it might not work for you, but it certainly won't duplicate for you. And when it doesn't duplicate, you don't get all the benefits of network marketing. Network marketing, the benefit is a, a small group, or a large group of people doing a few simple things over, over a sustained period of time. The beauty of this is you can start with it being 100% of your effort, but you can end with it where your income is only 1% or less of your effort and 99% from a large group of people around the world. So what do we all want? What do you want? As a network marketing professional, you want freedom. You want leverage. You want sustainability. You don't get that by doing something fancy. So it doesn't matter what works. It only matters what duplicates. And what I mean, what, what, what you have to be thinking about with that in mind is what you're doing every day. Can every single person in your organization do the same thing? If they can't do what you're doing every day, you've got to change it to something that can be done by everyone in your organization every day. That's why third-party tools are so important. That's why stories are so important. It levels the playing field so it can duplicate for you. That's why simple systems inside of our organizations are so important because it creates a system for duplication to have a... a a chance at survival. You can kill duplication by getting fancy, or you can foster duplication 
by keeping it simple, keeping it third party, keeping it around stories, keeping it around systems. It doesn't matter what works. It only matters what duplicates. So ladies and gentlemen, my wish for you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional. You decide to go pro because it is a stone cold fact that we have a better way. Now let's go tell the world. Everybody have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Fantastic. So for those of you who have, um, have not listened to Eric before or who have never read GoPro, uh, he's very um, insightful, very easy to read book, I would highly recommend. And I think that, that that's it. It doesn't matter what works, it only matters what duplicates. And that is something I would say we only within the last sort of six months have I really started to understand that and actually start to put that into my business. And, I th and definitely what I've seen is that uh, the way I do something and then and share with, with a new person Lee enrolled today is very different to how I did it 18 months ago when I first started sharing. And, you know, that has, um, you know, come down to a whole number of different things that um, first and foremost is um, where did I learn it from? So the learning of duplication and what we do within isogenics uh, has certainly come from you know, a lot of people within this group. Uh, and I think that, uh, you know, what Eric says is that, um, you know, there's, it's a really simple business. And, you know, what I've tried to do, and I think what many of us have tried to do is to overcomplicate it and to put our own stamp on it, uh, to be able to um, go and recreate it. And until I actually got out of my ego and open up to the simple fact that I'm not a network marketer or I wasn't a network marketer and I needed to actually learn how to become a network marketer, then that freedom and I was in a space then to be able to then start to get some momentum happening within my business. And, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, a couple of the things that from my perspective of what I do now is Every time I, and I'm not perfect at it, still, you know, I'll, I'll go back into an old habit, uh, more around the dialogue. Uh, I try really hard, you know, to set the appointment um, from a lot of stuff that Eric talks about, uh, you know, to a lot of the stuff, for those of you who went and saw David a couple of weeks ago, uh, you know, the, again, the same thing. We don't talk about many things within isogenics. We talk about where to actually find the information so that everyone has access to the knowledge. And, you know, when I, when I decided to um, almost become just the messenger and, you know, not, not, the, um, not delivering the message, again, was when people then started take on, to take on some responsibility for their business and to actually start to see and to get results. And, um, you know, and I think that that's why I had so many product users and not even product sharers because I'd never shared with people because I was caught in my ego how to share. And, um, but that's okay because the beauty of this is we're in a relationship business. And so I put my hand up and I'd love to share a story with you of, um, oh, I think back and I cringe at this conversation, my God. So I had a personal trainer and or I used to do boot camp and I wanted to get him. I so wanted to get John because he'd be amazing. He had like all these people and he'd be able to go and share and my business would just take off. So I remember I had a coffee with him and I just, again, just I didn't follow the tools and I didn't follow, um, you know, anything that duplicated. I just verbal diaried for an hour on him. And at the end he said, that's great, Ange. I don't really think it's my thing. I don't think I let him get one word in. I just filled those voids with every time there was this moment of there was going to be a pause, I'd have to talk about something else. And, um, you yeah, I'm sure we've all done that. That's how we all start and how we all learn. I put my hand up with him, but. And I asked him about six months later, I said, John, I really apologise for wasting that hour of your time. 
can I actually buy you a coffee to repay for it? And, uh, you know, so that was the opportunity for me to go back and to at least now have a calm conversation where my heart wasn't racing because I was trying to get him. It was more around where was he at? What was he doing? And starting to use, um, you know, the systems that we have of listening and questioning and getting to people's why. And once I actually started that conversation, at this point, I won't say, I, I, he hasn't enrolled in, in um, the business at this stage, but I know that following the systems and I also know that it's not going to happen every time first up that you'll get an enrolment. Sometimes we all know that does happen and you're pretty lucky to do that. But I also understood that by using the tools and sending him out a tool that might be relevant but continuing on duplicating that follow-up that I will, you know, one day, you know, if the timing's right, he may come into my business. So I think if, uh, there's a few things that I just wanted to actually go through in terms of that duplication of, you know, basically how I do it. So the, the conversation of, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to put a starting point on it. I personally use Facebook a lot uh, as, as that first means of being able to connect with somebody and start a relationship, as many of us do. So that's the where I, I certainly leverage most of my time is, is certainly Facebook. But then also is um, LinkedIn. I'm be, I've been spending a lot of time on LinkedIn at the moment because my background is recruitment. And so it's about just, again, the, you know, the, the, the systems and that we learn or what we do learn is build relationships. We're in the business of relationships. So starting a conversation, nothing to do with isogenics at all, but just connecting. How are you? What's happening? What's going on in your world? Wherever you actually know somebody from, um, you know, doing that connection. Um, then for me is very much about um, setting an appointment. Again, that's a practice. I'm now starting to give again after seeing David um, uh, um, a couple of weeks ago is giving two options. So being able to lock in, I'm around on Thursday at two or I'm around on Friday at 10, which suits you. And then once I've got that appointment, I, um, same thing as we all know, I mean, again, this is, this is nothing new, but what I'm starting to see now is that those people, I will also, when I, when I do have that initial um, catch up with somebody uh, and it does come up and talking about um, isogenics, he's very much talking about this, um, you know, what Heidi has taught us. I mean, that's the, this is the fabulous thing about what we've done over the last nine weeks is this is all duplicatable. And these are all systems that we're learning in order to, uh, to improve um, our businesses and what we want to do. So if we kind of just go back and have a look, um, it is that, that asking of, um, you know, so this is what we do next. And then it's not that weird stuff and, and, you know, it is definitely that practice because I'm actually seeing that I'm getting good results with that now with people. So it's, I guess that's the juggling act is because we have different people in our businesses from different lengths of time, uh, you know, that's also, uh, you know, becomes, um, you know, I've, I've enrolled people from, you know, 18 months ago or a year ago and often I think there's that opportunity is that they started like me as um, purely a product user and, you know, I may have even, if probably not, but I might have shared you plus two and then, you know, for those that are consistent about then, again, that's system and that process of going back and checking in where they're at because everybody's story changes and everyone's situation circumstances do change so that's one another one that I absolutely do um, I um, I think the big one for me um, again once I got out of my ego and got out of my way of saying I don't know and I found that a bit hard when I started practicing that because I did know and, uh, you know, I love to be able to help people. And so, oh, my God, yeah, let me show you. Let me. And then to go, actually, I'm not, I, I don't know, but do you know what? This is what I'd suggest you do. And, you know, we all, we all know the tools to go to. Um, and, you know, whether that be, um, you know, sending somebody to isogenicshealth.net if it, if it is, um, you know, relevant, that's the Facebook, uh, that's the uh, website we need to go to, or whether it is, you um, um, you know, onto Team Elevate or wherever we need to get the information from and we can direct people to. Um, and I really loved, um, again, for those of you who, who did manage to get to UIA, um, so resonated with me when Jen Jeffries got up on that stage and I, I, I kind of liken my story to hers a little um, in that, again, her ego stopped her from sharing sooner because 
for three years, she wanted to tell everyone everything about the ingredients and about the product. And, you know, I've, I've certainly had um, situations, as I'm sure most of us have, of people that have been in the business longer than us, people that inspire us or we aspire to be, to be like within this business. And that can become quite overwhelming when, when they know so much more than us. And so then you think, I can't do it. I can't be like her or I can't be like that person. And, you know, I think that's then the beauty is that we really are all on a level playing field because we all have access to the very same tools. So it doesn't matter whether you've been in the business for a month or you've been in the business for three years or four years. I, you know, the, I, where, where we need to be at is how do I best share with all of my team how to duplicate what I'm doing uh, and how can they actually then go and find the information. And, and that is uh, it's so, so tempting to be helpful to someone when someone says, put, puts out on a thread or puts a message up on Team Elevate, can someone tell me where this is? It's like, do you know what? I, I have to actually not do that because by doing that, I'm actually doing that person a disservice because what happens then in their business when somebody has a question and they're not then able to, you know, they want to jump in and then help that person. But if we're not showing people how to get to the tools, that's not duplicatable. And so, uh, you know, that's the, you know, it, it for me has only been, as I said, very recently that the penny has dropped of I'm doing a disservice by trying to be of service. And so I think it's about just, um, you know, really being able to see whether it's something that is abs has absolute relevance and, and, and it is of ease or, um, you know, that, that they are seeking advice. Because not everything, let's face it, not everything you want to send everyone off to isogenicshealth.net. Um, you know, again, we're in a relationship business. So, you know, you've got to be use common sense when it comes to that. Um, and the other thing um, that I've got down here just wanted to talk about was, um, you know, again, everything that we've been through over the last nine weeks, three-way calls, that's duplicatable. And, you know, that's so important when, you know, somebody's starting, uh, you know, a, a, new, a, new person, a new person we enrolled, I would never do it. I was like, why do I need to have Claire or Emma or somebody else get on a call? I know what I'm doing. This person that I've just enrolled is probably going to think, I don't know what's going on and I don't know everything. And once I actually got out of the way of that, um, you know, I'm not fantastic at them. I'm really pushing to do more of them because I'm actually seeing them as coming from that place of service of education. So I want Lauren to be able to teach me and I want Heidi to teach me and those above me and who have been here longer or those like Caroline um, has been amazing for me in terms of, um, I did see her there before, there she is, um, you know, in terms of, um, you know, if I've got nutrition questions or a dietitian and I need some, an expert, then I'll get a three-way call happening with somebody who knows more than me. Um, the other one too is, um, you know, again, what's, what's so great now is once you've enrolled somebody, you know, it's all there. What's duplicatable is new associate checklist, go through better body and soul, um, and then talk about healthy, um, um, you know, and then talking about healthy mind and body. So again, these are all just really simple systems. If you do nothing else other than what's coming at you, that's duplicatable. Um, the other one too, um, as I said, just um, a couple of things I've put down here is um, inspiring self-directed leaders. That's what I really was talking about before. And that's duplicatable. You know, if we've got somebody in the business who does want to build um, a business is to be able to share with them exactly that if you do everything for them, um, you know, then their business is not going to grow and that's not going to be duplicatable. Um, you know, the other, the other um, point I've got is, um, you know, sharing with people, um, you know, and getting people along to events. That is the most duplicatable thing that you can possibly do because that's a message that Isogenic, so whether that be um, UIA or IC Uni, I was talking to Lauren, everything in all of these is identical. It's the same thing. So when Eric talks about, um, you know, having, um, having third-party tools, they're the tools. Um, don't be a tool. We all know we don't want to be a tool. And, um, you know, stories. And I think that's the thing that 
is the piece where you can be you. So where I know I can add value is I don't want to add any value to anyone outside of the tools. What I want to be is authentically me who has a story that can then actually resonate with somebody who then can see that Isogenics has a solution. And that's all my job is to do. And that will, not even my job, but that's what I want to be able to do for people. Um, and, you know, I think the, the other thing too is then um, getting into that place. I was talking to Lauren and, and, and Emma about this, that um, about maybe six months ago, I started to think, I started to get a bit of overwhelm. And my overwhelm was really about how am I going to, when my team gets really big, which it will be, uh, how am I actually going to make sure that everyone's doing the same thing? And what I've actually come to, or following the systems and following the tools, and what I've actually come to learn is that I won't ever know that when you're, when the, when, you know, when I'm at, you know, 20,000 people deep in my team. But what I want to do is to start as I intend to proceed and make sure that everyone duplicates exactly the same message. And then as, uh, you know, Eric talks about, it doesn't matter how big, you know, that team is, everyone knows the same thing. And so then from a leadership perspective, what our roles then become is to become that facilitator of making, of, of helping others in our team make sure that they're doing the same thing and, and doing that duplication. So I think the other thing too is that, um, you know, is that whole um, moving from a place of self um, to a place of team or a place of service for others. And that's where I started to see a real difference in, in, in what I was doing uh, was, was it wasn't about... Um, you know, that focus going back into, um, you know, does that person understand and is that duplicatable? And um, so, yeah, so I think that's the, um, you know, some other things that I've done in talking duplication is I'm not the expert. I love the analogy that um, Kez uses and um, that uh, and when she got up on stage and, and spoke at, uh, at uh, um, UIA was she was absolutely, you don't go to the Olympics without being the master. And that's what she was. But that authentic self of saying, put my hand up, I don't know everything about network marketing. And I think that, uh, you know, most of us are in that situation. For whatever reason, we fell into isogenics or isogenics came into our life. Uh, most of us haven't come from a network marketing background. And so I've now lost the ego and I'll listen to everyone who's been before me. And it doesn't matter who you talk to, but any of those platinums in our business, keep it so simple. This is a really simple business. Use the tools and you know, that's what is duplicatable. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, spending some time on understanding um, why it doesn't happen. I think that, um, you know, really is, is that um, I either I haven't done a good job in being really clear on the process and the systems available. And so that's why, you know, having those checklists, having particularly the new associate checklist just gives you the track and the path to make it so simple. There's no point in putting energy into somebody who only ever wants to be a product user and, you know, as opposed to somebody who ticks the box that's interested in wealth creation. And there, you know, that, okay, this is what I need to now do. That's what I duplicate. Whereas, uh, and, and I think the only thing sometimes that you... Again, when you bring that relationship into it is checking back in with those people who only ever said that they wanted to be product users um, because I'll guarantee that most of us all started that way. And so, you know, without doing that, if you don't have a system of your own way of doing that, um, you know, whether it's a whiteboard or however you do it, um, of, of checking in with people that, you know, there may be a missed opportunity that you actually have um, in the business. But again, you know, tonight really is about duplication. So, um, you know, that's, I think, the there's just a couple of, um, a couple of quotes that, that I wanted to all also share with you or a couple of things in my is as I've been researching duplication um, from you know the experts um, is uh, a couple of things let me share with you um, lead a large group of people to consistently do a few simple actions over a sustained period of time 
And that basically is what we do um, and what, we, what we're doing in order to grow our business. The biggest mistakes of newcomers is to try and quantify everything and in doing so, complicate things. My God, that was me. Um, and, um, you know, and tr uh, true duplication, we need to focus on actions simple enough that everyone in a large group can duplicate. And, um, you know, I think that's also a really simple, that's a really uh, important one too because, you know, some people only have, you know, small pockets of time um, in order to do this business and others that are doing it full time. So, again, it doesn't matter what sort of time frame you have. If this is the process, that's the process. Um, and I will leave you with my very favourite one. Jordan Adler says, can an eight-year-old learn it, do it, and teach it. And if they can, you've mastered duplication. So um, I'd like to throw over, um, you know, any any questions that any um, anyone does have. Um, you know, a couple of other. Sorry, this. Sorry, one last thing I just wanted to share was, um, you know, I um, the one thing that I do um, that I didn't talk about in duplication. Sorry, was um, you know self development, and that I guess becomes part of the reason where I move from ego into um, you know accepting that um, you know this is uh, this is where I'm at now, and this is how I'm going to be successful is to duplicate. Um, so I've got a couple of my favourites um, on duplication. Um, so, um, you know, I listen to, um, you know, David's podcast on Amplified Living, the Isogenics podcast. There's some great, great stories of, um, you know, duplication and how people are doing it, um, you know, within the Isogenics business. Uh, you know, there's, um, you know, um, you know, loads of them. So what I'd love to do is you know, I'll shoot off a little message tomorrow to the, to the group and just put a couple of you know, favourite books on, you know, on duplication um, and, you know, again, just, um, in, you know, some of those podcasts and, and things that I don't think we've really covered off in the first nine weeks at this stage. Um, so, yeah, that's all. So thank you, everyone. Awesome. Thanks, Ange. That was unreal. And I love what you said about um, we'll wait and see if there's any questions that come through. But while we're waiting, um, what you were talking about before with Jen and yourself and wanting to, to be the expert. I think I had the opposite experience, which which kind of shows me, I guess, and why I ran so fast. And I know that Jen, um, in the very beginning, she enrolled 160 people and she wasn't cycling. She was only cycling five times or something after a year. So that shows you she was doing something clearly, clearly wrong. And I think in my ignorance, ignorance is bliss, I was, I was just getting up and I didn't know. I really didn't know. So I could just say, I don't know. And that, that is actually duplicatable. So people could look at me and think, God, if she can do it, I can do it. You know what I mean? Geez, if this still can do it, I could certainly do it. So that kind of worked in my favour. And I guess, um, yeah, it's really interesting when you look at that and, and how that actually helped me because we do get trained to say, I don't know. And it's okay not to know. Just go to isogenicshealth.net. And I think uh, that stops a lot of people starting too and just even starting because they feel like they have to know everything and you really do not have to. All you need to know, like you said, is your story and your story is what makes it authentic. Uh, stories is what, you know, so stories is what sells basically. People, people buy in on stories. They don't buy in on ingredients and all of that stuff. So that was awesome. And also I just wanted to mention too, um, sorry, go Ange, what are you going to say? I was just, um, Caroline's just popped a question up, um, you know, definitely is um, a product expert and very hard to get over it. How did you actually get over that and go to the, I don't know? Mm. I tried it, Caroline. I actually went to an event and it was a super Saturday and I can't remember who it was, but they said, you know, we're talking about, I don't know. It's like, right, the next time I'm going to meet somebody and they're going to ask me a question, I'm going to practice it. And it was, um, it, was, it was a product question. And the way I had posture didn't make me feel like inferior. And I said, you know what? I actually don't worry about the product for me. I don't need to know all the ins and outs. But let me show you where you can actually go. That's a great question. Um, but here's what you need to do. Jump on and have a look yourself. And it was a, it was a question where I knew the answer. And, yeah, it felt weird. And, but I was like, you know what? I've been told, 
you know, this is how you do it by somebody who has done it before me. And I just got out of my way. And, you know, I do that regularly now. But I do it with a posture that I don't feel stupid. I feel like, oh, you know, I just, you know, and it was, and, and so it flowed and it was easy. Um, yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? That's the, that's the thing I, um, Carolina, when I just see you, I suppose that's something I need to grow on. That's the thing about duplication is I now actually love trying stuff and I love being able to go, did that work for me or did it not? And, um, you know, there's been a whole lot of stuff out of um, UIA and simple things like, you know, I think that's just, you know, my 30 second story had turned into three minutes and it was, and again, so going back in and getting that shot in the arm of this is how you do it. And <clears throat> my U plus two, well, the way I was actually doing it was different to, you know, here's the script. And so I think that's the, that's the thing is just going out there and, and, and showing yourself it actually does work. It works. Just do it. Give it a shot. I should say to, that's awesome. And I should say with um, um, David Wood, whoever wasn't there, he was uh, telling us about Tracy O'Malley. She's one of Isogenics' uh, millionaires. And all she does is basically gets every single person to a David Wood event to, for him to train her team. So she gets 166 people to go to his event. And that's her main aim and that's all her job is, is basically to get her people to events. And that's it. That's all she does. And she's earning millions and millions and millions of dollars because it really makes sense. That's duplication. Bring your people to an event, get David to train them. And those people bring their people to an event, get David to train them. And look how, like, she flew through this business. And so her business is absolutely booming because she's mastered duplication. And that is just bringing people to events. So, awesome. I think, I, I think that's, that's also one thing I'd also say is that I always give myself a goal um, on how many people are coming to events. And every time there's an event, I want, you know, obviously more people there. And I was beyond excited with um, UIA of how many of the team came to, to UIA. But do you know what? Now they're doing the exact same thing and they're duplicating. And so it works. <laughs> <laughs> Super Saturday, I tell you what, if you have not bought your tickets for Super Saturday, uh, it's going to be fantastic and give yourself a goal. You know, if it's only one person, I, I will never forget the excitement of sitting at a Super Saturday with Annabelle and I was so proud to go, you know what, I'm going to change this girl's life because she's come to a Super Saturday and I did because, you know, we went to Derby. She's just gone one star. It's, it works. It, you know, watch out next event. Like every time, give yourself a goal. And if you, if you have never had one person, make it one person. And there you go. If it's 20, make it 30. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you will. You'll see an increase in your, you know, your business. Absolutely. And like Susan Sly says, if you bring one person to celebration, that's an extra $1,000 on your income per year. So if you had 50 people there, that's an extra 50,000 on top of what you're already earning. So it's pretty amazing. And it, it, that's exactly how it works. We do go to work to overcomplicate it. Just get your people to events. So we've got Tuesday, the sports seminar. We've got Super Saturday coming up. Do you have the date for that there? Yes, yes it's 2nd of July. And uh, just so you all know, so the guest tickets won't be available until one week out. And so you can jump online. Tickets are $15 at the moment. That will may go up. So they're still at an early bird price. Um, but amazing, you know, lineup of people. If you haven't already seen the flyer, you know, Kerry, um, Jen, um, you know, there's, um, oh, we even have, um, I don't know whether, uh, is there anybody else on this screen that might have been asked to be on the panel? Yay! <laughs> Um, so Caroline is um, on our panel, which is um, super exciting. Um, yeah, so so lots lots from the team we've um, we've got uh, coming along, and uh, Alan and Larry um, Hilsinger are coming down from Queensland. Uh, yeah, so would be it will be a fantastic one not not to not to miss because we don't have any more left for the end of the year. Um, yeah, so give yourself a goal um, of how many people you're going to bring. And get tickets soon. So that's the last Super Saturday for the whole entire year? No, no, we've got, um, but we, where we were kind of having them every month, um, you know, or every second month, yeah, they've been pushed out with the other events that we've got. So I think it's the second, we've got one in December 
uh, and one maybe September. So there's not a lot of them left. Okay, good. Yeah. Awesome. Get your tickets, everybody. Awesome. Thank you so much, Angela. I'll just see if there's any more um, questions coming through. Uh, I'll just unmute everyone and just see. Or you can... Right, you're all unmuted. There's no questions. We can all just say. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I need to get out of here then because if I'm unmuted. Oh, sorry, darling. I can mute you. I'll mute you. <laughs> I just locked myself in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, well, thank you everybody for being on board tonight. It's been really good to see all your faces. <laughs> So we really, you know, recognize yeah, I I was getting and uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing you all next Sunday and we will uh, let you all know of the prize winner. Um, so we'll let you all know uh, shortly on the finish. But thanks again, everybody, for being online. Thanks, Ange. That was great. Thank you, Ange. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.